let's get a little bipartisan here for the first time in a while. Senator Gene Shaheen, Shaheen, however you pronounce that, Democrat of New Hampshire, and Tom Coburn, a Republican of Oklahoma, are proposing uh, legislation to cap the amount of tax dollars that can be spent on official portraits. Now listen to this list of how much they spend on these things. This is kind of surprising. A portrait of former Navy, I'm sorry, former Air Force Secretary Michael Donnelly, somebody who even his family is like, wait, who? Michael who? I don't know who you're talking about. $41,200 for his official portrait. The portrait of first term Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Lisa Jackson cost nearly $40,000. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta, the department paid $31,200 for that. And individual price tags for portraits all throughout the Bush administration, $50,000. But this is, again, a bipartisan issue here. The Obama administration spent $400,000 on oil portraits of cabinet members in 2011 and 2012 alone. Chill, all of you, chill. What are you doing? Now, I mean, of course, the counter argument to what I'm saying is, I mean, $400,000 and $50,000 here and there, that's like such a tiny part of the budget that it's so minuscule, why even bring it up? But it's the principle of the thing. And it speaks to a broader mindset of, if us in Congress like something, we'll just fucking throw money at it and do whatever we want. Which then begs the question, well, why aren't you doing that with, I don't know, giving everybody health care? Why aren't you doing that with universal education, maybe, at the college level, too? All this ridiculous student loan debt going on? Why aren't you doing it with daycare? So many people need daycare. But no, they don't do it for any things that are good, which government should be doing. They do it for self-aggrandizing, narcissistic bullshit. Like, let me spend $400,000 for a bunch of assholes to get a fucking portrait of them. I'm sorry, but even though, yes, it's a tiny amount of money, it adds up over time, and it's just ridiculous, no matter how you slice it or dice it. So I, I agree with uh, Tom Coburn, probably the first time in history, uh, and the other senator, Gene Shaheen, as well. Now, uh, I know a dude in the Bronx that'll do the best portrait you've ever seen for 37 bucks and a Pop-Tart. So we can call that guy up, and he can go ahead and do, do it on a regular basis for you guys. And what this bill does that they propose, it, it only caps the spending at $20,000 for each agency, which is still kind of a lot of money. $20,000 for each agency. So I would vote for this bill over nothing. If my choice is either keep it like it is now or vote for this bill, I'd vote for this bill. But also, uh, here are three things that I think are better proposals. You could, one, set a hard cap per painting at 500 bucks a pop. You can get a great portrait done for $312. Yes, you can. Don't tell me you can't. You're not looking hard enough if that's the case. Okay, I'd do that. Or I would uh, hire a few contractors who do these paintings whenever you need them and you make it an official job that pays maybe 50 bucks an hour or something like that, okay? So I mean, the person can make a decent amount of money, can make an okay living if they gotta do it all the time, but you're not, you know, breaking the bank for Congress paying up 400 fucking thousand dollars, that's mental. Uh, or, I know here's the most radical proposal of all, how about you outlaw it? How about if you're working for the government and you're making $100,000 a year or more, you pay for your own shitty portrait, how about that? Why should the taxpayer have to pick that up? Especially, it's priorities, man. That's what gets me every time, it's priorities. Especially at a time when we have 76% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. 